Well, more than 80 million Americans have already voted and millions more are set to go to the polls tomorrow. And here in South Florida, we've seen a large voter turnout so far in Local 10's Christian Della Rosa. Live now at Aventura to break down the numbers for us tonight. Christian. And Calvin, you're absolutely right. Because early voting was so huge in South Florida, come tomorrow, Election Day, we may not see a lot of those historically long lines for Election Day, but we'll have to wait. In the meantime, though, you have locations like the one behind me, the Northeast Dade Library, which will be a polling location along with hundreds of poll workers that are ready to go come 7 a.m. across South Florida. They've already been counting ahead of the big day. Our scanners, poll workers now geared up. Been doing this since the hanging chat. Hundreds of precincts ready to open across Dade and Broward for Tuesday's election Super Bowl. Oh, any voting was tough. Hundreds of thousands of South Floridians have already exercised their right. Roughly six out of ten people across South Florida have cast their vote. In Broward, more Democrats have voted than Republicans and Independents. And in Miami-Dade, more Republicans have voted, but by a smaller margin. In Monroe, Republicans have cast 50% of the votes, roughly 30% by Democrats and 20 from independents. We certainly have enough people. We have enough equipment. Supervisor of elections officials stressing this. On election day, you must vote at your assigned polling place and your assigned polling place is based on where you live today. Really important if you're voting tomorrow, you have to know your precinct. And if you still have a mail-in ballot, you can't just turn it in anywhere. For example, in Miami-Dade, you have to deliver it to headquarters in Doral. In Broward County, you have to take it and turn it in at any of the nine supervisor of election offices. We have a link to that information on our website, local10.com. Just click on the Vote 2024 tab. And we're reporting in Aventura tonight. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.